Our next story is about Grant County's interagency narcotics enforcement team that surprised three families with a Christmas they'll never forget. Reporter Joe Utter has the details. These guys are used to being undercover, but not usually wearing Santa masks. A quick raid meeting Monday morning, and the detectives from INET, along with the Grant County Sheriff's deputies and Moses Lake and Quincy police officers, headed to surprise three families with what they called a rest warrant, giving families a well-deserved rest during the holiday season. Three families were selected with the help of local churches, and each family's clergy was on hand during each of the warrant services. With presents in hand and an awaiting grandmother and six grandchildren inside a Moses Lake home, officers and several county officials served the arrest warrant signed and written by Superior Court Judge Evan Spurline and read out loud to the family by District Court Judge Tyson Hill. But it wasn't just presents for the kids. Grant PUD paid the family's power bill for the next three months. They were given an oil change and a gas card, night out for grandma, a traditional holiday meal and gift cards to help fill the immediate needs. And one last surprise as the family headed outside as a truck pulled up filled with bikes for the kids as an early Christmas present. Meet Kathy Gardner, a grandmother to her six grandchildren she's raising on her own. She called the day a miracle for her family. Oh, it just means so much. We, we were just praying and asking God and believing God for a miracle, and he showed up. Gardner added it would have been a difficult holiday season without the surprise. Absolutely. And it means so much to the children because we were trying to one, we were wondering how were we going to figure things out, but there was already a plan in place. And so again, we just thank you so much for everything and just the community and the love that's been shown. We're so grateful. The idea for the event came from the Lowell Police Department in Michigan, where video of their traffic stops went viral after officers stopped drivers for minor traffic violations. But the officers weren't handing out tickets. A few quick questions about the, what the driver's family wanted for Christmas, and moments later, those items showed up. Because INET detectives don't conduct traffic stops, they decided to serve warrants. INET's plan came together in less than two weeks, with more than $5,000 raised in cash and donated items from local businesses and individuals. The next stop was to the home of Keith and Elizabeth Dovier and their two young children. Keith works the night shift, and as a single-income household with two children, he said they had just enough money to get their kids only a couple presents for Christmas. Their two children were staying with grandparents and will have quite the surprise to come home to. The criminal justice system as a whole has had a tough past few weeks across the nation. Monday's event showed compassion and cooperation within the Grant County criminal justice system, from judges to deputies. It warms my heart, it really does, to, to be able to uh, to have this kind of out, outpouring of support, uh, not only monetarily, but personnel-wise and, and families, um, to be able to help someone out a little less fortunate during the holiday season. So um, I think we're gonna uh, do it right and uh, make sure that we make their Christmas today. This is Joe Utter reporting for iFiber One News. We'll be right back.